guys, it's Farah and welcome to my channel. So I know I was supposed to have the big surprise up by the 24th. And as many of you may know, we ended up, the surprise was a, a new puppy. We ended up naming her Nala. She's a Burmese mountain dog. She's bred from the Mastiff family. I believe it's like a cross cross breed between the Mastiffs and like, like a sheep dog or something like that. Anyway, she's beautiful. We just absolutely love her. She's really calm and she's just everything we were hoping that she would be. I told you guys in, I believe one of my, maybe my last video that I was going to be doing a um, front porch fall decorate uh, with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will show you guys clips of her when she was um when she first got here when nala first got here we ended up bathing her when she first got here because she reeked she was in a very small van with like 30 other dogs and she had to travel from ohio all the way to california and then back here to where we're at in the midwest so she reeked you guys and i swear like oh like it wouldn't, it didn't even matter if we were, we would wash our hands and our hands still stunk after touching her, um, for after baths. It smells like, um, baby powder. And she just, there's like no dog scent on her at all anymore. She just, she's nice and clean. And this dog only barks when she needs to. Like the other night, I think that she saw a raccoon. So she barked a couple of times and she stopped, you know, there's no, She's not carrying on with the barking. I cannot stand a, bark a barking dog. I can't stand hyper dogs. Hyper dogs are usually not the brightest dogs. She is very calm. Um, I mean, she plays and stuff. She, she, she acts like a puppy and plays, but she's very um, calm. She doesn't jump, jump up on us and stuff. She's just the perfect dog. We just even likes her, which is a total surprise because Keith, he is not... A lover of animals. I'll just leave it at that. The whole family is just so pleased with her. She's quiet. Right now we are trying to get her to do her business in a certain area. That's the only issue we're having right now with her is she's wanting to poop in areas where we like to, you know, the kids like to run and play and stuff. So we're trying to get her to poop out away from the house. And then we are also going to be housebreaking her because when Keith is out of town, I will be keeping her in the house, especially at night with us. We really want to be, you know, closer to this dog. All the dogs from our past were always outside dogs and Keith and I just never really took to them. We never really got close um, to them. So besides her just being our dog, we will also would like for her to be our fur baby. So uh, this is why we would really like to have her house broke and um, we would like to have her, you know, spend more time with us inside the house. We will be keeping her on the hard floor. We won't allow her like on the carpet or like on the furniture or anything like Anyways, that. Anyways, you guys, let's get this porch um, fall decorate going and then I will show you my beautiful new puppy. Everything that I purchased, um, I got from Walmart, except for the um, straw bales Keith ended up picking up for me at Race Brothers on his way home from work yesterday. But otherwise, everything else came from Walmart. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and hope everyone's enjoying the cooler weather. It's been so nice. Guys, these hay bales were so heavy. I regretted not having Keith here to help me, but hey, I ended up getting them up there anyway, and I guess that's why they call me Super Mom. <laughs>
I forgot to mention in the intro why I didn't get the video of our little surprise up by the 24th and that was because there had been a misunderstanding and we didn't end up getting her till a few days later than expected. Long story, but as you guys may be able to tell, she didn't look very well when she first arrived. She seemed sickly, she had really bad diarrhea and seemed a bit dehydrated. Keith and I could not get her to respond. We would call her and try to get her to come to us and she wouldn't come. We had to carry her everywhere. She had drank a ton of water when she first got here and actually for the first few days, she was just doing nothing but drinking water. She seemed really hungry. Keith and I suspect that maybe they were um, sedated uh, during the, you know, while they're traveling, maybe sedated or just put to sleep or something because she just seemed really out of it when she got here. But you can clearly see in the beginning of the video when I'm decorating on the porch that she looks like a total different dog. You can also tell at the end of the video, she just looks way healthier, way more happier and just lively. It's been a little over two weeks now and she's, she's just looking so much better. She's chasing us, she's coming when we call her. She's being super playful. She, um, I love when she barks when I leave the house. We all just love her and look forward to having her with us for years to come. So the kids are just loving having their very own puppy. Judah and Joseph had requested for a puppy for their next upcoming birthdays. And it was just so nice to fulfill their wishes. None of them really expected the puppy. That's why they were all so surprised uh, because Keith is just so adamantly against just owning pets altogether, but he was really against a dog because to him it was just more responsibility. But I think it's safe to say for him that he has had a change in heart and he really is beginning to really like Nala. I've been catching him like sneaking her snacks here and there and just playing with her and it's just really nice seeing the softer side of Keith where a pet is concerned anyway. Back together, yeah. You, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fall porch decorate with me, as well as for meeting our beautiful new member of the family if so be sure to give it a thumbs up thanks so much for sticking with me through this youtube journey and thank you so so much for all your support it truly means everything to me stay tuned for many more videos of nala along with lots of cleaning and organization cooking and more hope to see you all in the next video don't forget to say hi down in the comments Stay safe and prepared always, and I hope you guys enjoy all these photos coming up of our beautiful pup. See you in the next video. Bye. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time, and I know it so well. I'll always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh 
Yeah. 